What's going on, peeps? It's uh, dream number seven, my 12 dreams of Christmas. We are on the uh, back half downslide of my first annual 12, 12 dreams of Christmas. Man, this has been pretty cool so far. Um, just having fun with this, man. It is really, it's really fun. Um, for those who follow me, you guys know my love for Irish whiskey and, you know, for... For anyone who's not into it, you're learning a little something, I hope. Maybe. If not, you know, drop me some suggestions. I'm all I'm all about suggestions. I'll try to help out the best I can, but I'm, I'm, this is not a professional production or anything. It's just some 47-year-old dude having fun, and that's what I'm doing. So, um, today I'm going to be doing something from Telemore Dew. Uh, here in the States, we all know what Telemore Dew is. You know, it's one of the big three. Uh, Bushmills, Jameson, Telemore Dew, and I guess Proper 12, so it would be Big Four, but Proper 12, whatever, it's garbage. Don't do it. Anyway, <laughs> Telemore Dew, 12 year special reserve, purple label. Um, D E W, Daniel E. Williams. The Telemore, self explanatory, where the distillery is. D E W, a lot of people ask me, oh, what does DEW stands for? That's Daniel E. Williams. He, um, at 25, he became the head distiller at Tillamore Dew a long time ago, uh, 1800s. Um, a young 25. He had a passion for whiskey making and innovation, which has propelled Tillamore into a global leader in Irish whiskey that it, that it is today. Um, what do you, what, again, you know, everyone here in the States knows Telmore Dew, but this particular expression though, um, once it's, once it's done, once the bottles are sold, it's all over. It's a special reserve. So it's a limited quantity of this. Um, I have been very, very, very fortunate. Um, this is probably the fifth, sixth bottle I've had of this. Um, and I have a whole, another full one in the cabinet that I won't open until this one's done. This is up there. This may be, this particular expression of Tillamore Dew may be one of my top five favorite Irish whiskeys. Um, Tillamore Dew is notable for their blend, their blended Irish whiskeys. Uh, and this one holds true malt and grain whiskeys. But what they did with this one is they added a little more pot still to this one to give it that little smooth, creamy, a little spicy kick to it. Um, but the blend is, is very typical of Telmore Dew. Um, but what I like about this one is not mm -hmm. only with your normal Telmore Dew, their age may be five, six, seven years, obviously 12 years on this one, but they also added the um, Sherry cast this one, which your 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 typical Telmore Dew is in ex bourbon casks. So they added a little something to this one. Um, I love absolutely love this expression. I've had quite a few Telmore two Telmore Dew expressions. Um, I have not tried the fourteen yet, which I would like to do. Um, but the trilogy, um, your your typical blend. On and on. I've tried a lot of Telemore Dews. And hands down, 12-year Special Reserve Purple Label. This is by far the best Telemore Dew I've ever had. Like I said, it's probably a top five Irish whiskey for me. Um, so anytime my local store or you know a store within a 50-mile radius from my house has it, I do go buy a bottle. It's, it's that good. Um, It's got a nice copper color to it. For a Telemore Dew, it does hug the sides of the glass. It's got some legs to it, which is not typical, but, but you can tell because of the pot still that's in this, that it's going to be a little creamier than your typical Telemore Dew. As far as the nose, out of every Irish whiskey I've ever had, this may have the best nose. This may be number one on my list as far as nosing whiskeys. 
dark berries and orchard fruits are just off the chart. They, they pop immediately. You can pick up everything. And they're faded to that sherry, those sherry casks. But the sweet nose to this is what separates it from every other Irish whiskey I've ever sampled in my life. The, it's so good. I, I can't explain it. Watch it. Palette is a little different, not too much. I'm getting a little caramel on the back of the tongue. The sherry's there. But that pot still spices is presenting itself as that palate fades away a little bit. Out come, out come some pot still spices. And I'm not sure on the palate or in the beginning of the finish if I'm getting some white grapes. Oh yeah, they're there on the palate. Getting some white grape too. I'm just gonna let this one sit for a little bit. Such an extraordinary finish. Uh, this is just a masterful Irish whiskey. Apple blossom, honey blossom, vanilla, wood. The caramel comes back a little bit, but it's such a beautiful finish too. <laughs> This one, for $47, this sips like an $80 whiskey. It is that freaking good. I absolutely love the Tillamore Dew 12 Year Reser Special Reserve. Hands down, this this is, I don't have a Mount Rushmore. I always do top five, whatever, but Mount Rushmore plus one, this one's on there. I absolutely love this one, and every time I see it, I buy it, whether I have a bottle, two bottles, three bottles in stock. It is that good. Um, if you can find it, get it. You will not be disappointed. And if you are disappointed, man, come at me. It's okay. The greatest nose for an Irish whiskey, Tellemore Dew Special Reserve. Um, it, was, it was really cool to preview this one. Um, I originally wasn't going to include it in my 12 drams just because the rarity that I find this one, I didn't want to. I don't, I don't want to say waste it, but I'm glad I did. This is deserving of a special whiskey during a special time of year. So, what do you say? Thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Slotcha.